looks like it's actually finally loading something up. Already. <clears throat> Windows is still loading up from the sound of it. It's already installing updates. Yeah, it looks like we got a little configure thing here. Let's check that out. Also noticed on a desktop there's a send feedback button. Let's see, notification area icon. So I'm guessing that little wrench is just to uh, allow you to adjust how these icons in the notification area um, appear and show up. Hmm. Show icon and notifications. Icon notifications. Okay. <clears throat> well, I'm going to go ahead, close that out, and just kind of look through a couple things. You know, start menu looks about the same. Oh, they changed the. Uh, shutdown thing it's back to being start shutdown <laughs> if anybody remembers that but it looks like there's a little uh, arrow here it looks like it's installing our device drivers let's click it for the status <clears throat> And that's coming through the uh, virtual machine. It's the uh, sound card having the host system. <coughs> What's this? Come on, tell me. Oh, Windows Explorer has a new icon. some reason they decided to move the um, view buttons to the right side instead of going left to right don't know why I could see that could be an issue in um, the um, <coughs> multi-language versions where you know um, some languages read right to left um, I'm assuming maybe that stuff goes on the left side in those versions. I don't know, but just want to point that out. Windows update is popped up by itself. And this thing's in beta, and there's already updates. It already installed three of them. Windows can't update important files and services while the system is running. Let's view the update history. Okay, updated the Windows 7 client, the uh, Windows Defender, that's fine. And apparently there was just a driver they had. So nothing really major in my opinion, just the, the client's probably the uh, feedback thing. <coughs> For the most part it looks the same. probably don't have the arrow interface or anything like that at the moment because I haven't installed the graphics card drivers let's try and do that what's this uh, customize oh this is that thing again the notification area management um I like to always see those. It's okay. Because it lets me know I have crap running in the background. Ooh, what's this? Solve issues. Single click brings this up. Uh, 
I apparently need to do a scan and I need antivirus software. I'll turn off messages about virus protection. And Windows Defender <clears throat> wants to do a scan. Now, what if I want to go through and remove Windows Defender? Control panel again, very similar to the one in Vista. The left side here is different. Is this a button? Yes, it is. And then once I clicked on uninstall program, it showed up over there. Maybe Defender is a Windows feature instead of a program. Looks like it still has IIS 6. Compatibility in there, all that good stuff. Uh, remote differential compression. What the hell is that? Dot .NET Framework 3.5.1. Looks like they're working on a version just for this. Last time I checked, Framework was only a uh, um, 3 with a service pack. I could be just out of date on that. Windows Gadget Platform, Windows OCR. Nice. Optical character recognition in here. I don't know if that was in Vista or not, but that's nice to see that. <coughs> XPS documents. If I remember right, that was something Microsoft was trying to push. Um, Tablet PC components. I still don't understand why Telnet Client isn't a default installation. I just don't understand that. Um, games are installed by default. I don't see an option here for um, Windows Defender. What if I want to get rid of it? Hmm. I will have to check that out. And for the heck of it, let's go ahead. That's the options in there, administrative tools. Yeah, there's there's quite a few little things in here. Um I'm going to go ahead and shut this guy down. There's a shutdown button. We'll see how it shuts down. And that's it. That's the um, Windows 7 installation process. Um, apparently even shutting the thing down. Oh, that's right. It had the uh, updates that were being configured. That's right. Um... Pretty much exactly the same as Vista's. There's a couple screens that are different, but it's basically exactly the same. I uh, don't see anything too special on installation, anything that could really throw anyone off. I'm assuming the same um, development kits that were for Vista OEM is going to be the same on Windows 7, probably just a little bit updated for a couple of things. Um, but Overall, it looks to be pretty much the same. So, we will go on through, do a couple other videos on this thing, and um, you'll see those getting posted up every once in a while on different features of Windows 7. Till next time, I'll see you later. You're welcome to visit us at www.defcon-5.com slash knock or the knock.tv which one of those do you guys prefer by the way 
let me know.